My name is Ava Grayeyes and I'm currently at SHAD on the University of New Brunswick campus in Fredericton. This week we have been doing uh, a robotics workshop. So for three days we have been building our robots and programming them and testing them for the big competition. SHAD is a month-long program that runs during July and it has uh, a bunch of different campuses across Canada. I'm here and I do lectures and workshops and labs with a bunch of other like-minded high school students. We have been in a robotics workshop, we've been learning uh, the technology behind that and for me I've I've never done anything like this and I think that's also a really big part of SHAD, you know, just stepping outside your boundaries and getting to know uh, something totally different. So uh, this is my robot over here, this is my team's creation, uh, Little Potato. We are really passionate um, about our robot, we have, a, we, have, we have our team name right there. You know, meeting other high school students that want to have an impact uh, and they all have different experiences and they all have different stories and they all have different goals and it's really nice to meet people and discover their different passions. I'm an actress. I've uh, worked professionally in theatre and film. The movie was called Indian Horse and as a First Nations person it was really an amazing experience to have because I felt like it really made me proud of uh, who I was, to be in a film that I believe every Canadian should see. My grandparents on my father's side went to residential school and uh, that's what the movie is about. Uh, it's about um, a boy that goes through residential school and then uh, the effects of residential school later on in his life. No! No, please! I no. promise to control her, Rebecca. Sister, no. please let her go! Please let her go! I really think that it just changed me as a person. Uh, and I know coming to Shad, um, a couple people knew that I was uh, I was an actor, and I, I for during the first week I would hear whispers like she's an actress. <laughs> the competition is a race uh, between the robots, and at the end of the race you actually have to shoot a dart at uh, the final target. Uh, this is the. Uh, this is the little gun that we use. The competition was so fun. Honestly, there was there was tons of screaming. There was tons of uh, laughing and like just applause. But also there was some disappointment uh, and frustration. There's also like the leadership skills that they teach you and teamwork skills and just skills that aren't necessarily about. Um, you know, how to be a better student, but just in general, how to be a better and more successful person. But I know the entire SHAD experience is going to be something that will really shape me, just like um, my experience working on the film Indian Horse. My long-term goal is really to, you know, have some, like, be part of something that or discover something that is going to change the world, and I think everybody at Shad like, feels like that. Guys, the championship round. <laughs> Gotta destroy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. On track three and four, we should have pasta and low potatoes. Let's go. It's so important to participate in um, programs like Shad uh, because. Obviously, like Shad offers um, like financial support for Indigenous students that like apply and can come to Shad. It's so important to learn how to be a leader and how to empower others and really how to help your community. If you have a passion for learning, if you have um, goals to make your community and the world a better place, definitely Shad is a place for you. You don't, you know, you don't have to be some sort of genius. Just being here at Shad, I've really come out of my shell a little bit. Really spending my time here at Shad, I can't really think of an, another thing I'd rather be doing. The next round, we were against this team called Pasta. It was Little Potato versus Pasta. It was the Battle of the Starches. Pasta, basically, they they were 10th uh, in, in the preliminary round, so they basically came back from, they came back from the dead to fight us. And, uh, and they, they beat us pretty, pretty badly.
is this? You guys, Fox is gonna come back and win. I can't.